Hey guys, I'm Brian with Fishers Off-Road and not too long ago I did a video on ratchet strap tips and tricks and I asked for your comments, ideas, suggestions and I got a lot of really good comments and questions. So what I'm doing now is part two to that video, ratchet strap tips and tricks. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. We upload daily. We are in the off-road world. We got a lot of really cool videos, how-tos, rides, all kind of cool stuff and we'd love to have you guys come along for the ride. So now, let's get to the video. One thing you want to keep in mind whenever you're looking for straps is it depends what you're strapping down. You want to know what the safe workload is. Like if you'll see here, these straps are 500 pound safe workload, a 1500 pound brake strength. And what you want to go off of is the workload, not the brake strength. Uh, these here are 1667 and 5000 pound brake strength. And these are 1000 pound safe workload, 3000 pound uh, brake strength and then you'll also notice that there's differences in lengths uh, these are 14 foot these are 10 foot and then these are 14 14 now these straps over here they're a little bit more heavy duty uh, this strap here you can see comes in 25 foot it has a safe workload of 1667 and a brake strength of 5,000 pounds this one here is 27 foot and has a safe workload of 3333 33 and brake strength of 10,000 pound so that's really for like heavy duty loads that's for big boy stuff so all the straps you know when you go into a store it's kind of confusing they may all look alike and you think oh i'm just going to pick these colors because i like orange or i like green or yellow you're going to want to see what the safe workload is and what the brake strength is compared to what you're hauling and you don't want to go light on this this is one place that you don't want to skimp you want to make sure you get plenty of strap to haul whatever it is that you're hauling whenever it comes to picking out straps for your atv or side by side i like to go with the orange straps for our ATVs and our ATVs the average weight's about 600 pounds and when I'm talking about an average ATV I mean like Yamaha Grizzly, Can-Am Outlander, Polaris Sportsman, Suzuki King Quad, something like that and then as far as side by sides you know your average side by side is going to be anywhere from 1500 pounds to 2000 pounds so the yellow straps are the ones I like to use for a side by side. Another question I had is once you have your load strap down, what do you do with the excess strap? Well, one of the cool things about the smart strap line is you can look on the back. You can see where it says uh, securing strap. And then also you can look at the front here and you can see where that is right there. And that's this right here. And this is just a Velcro strap. You wind that all up like that and you put your excess strap on there and then you use that Velcro piece. And here's what it looks like. Uh, before you uh, velcro up your strap so if you have excess strap that's a good option if you don't have this strap here's another option you can do you can use a zip tie and uh, what i'll do is what i'll i'll just zip tie it all up and then i'll just cut that off and then when i get where i'm going i cut the zip tie off and then when i go to load back up to leave again i just throw another zip tie on there it does a really good job of holding it if you're going down the highway at high rates of speed you know 50 60 70 mile an hour uh, so the zip tie does a really good job and it doesn't come loose another thing you can do is really ball it up and then just kind of cinch it off uh, i see guys do that but sometimes that has a tendency to work itself loose as you're going down the road so i know there's a lot of different tips and techniques and different styles of uh, securing your straps but these are two of my favorite whenever it comes to using a strap you will want to make sure you have all the slack taken out of it before you start ratcheting if you start ratcheting like this you're going to get too much webbing in there and the barrel is going to be full and you're not going to be able to strap and your load is still going to be unsecure and loose. So what you want to make sure is you have uh, most of the slack pulled out of the strap. You can let a little bit of slack there because you're going to wrap that webbing around the barrel and that will help secure it. So really, if you have this much right here, you're pretty good because then you start bringing it in and what you're doing is getting that webbing wrapped around there, but it's not too much webbing that it's going to be maxed out here and you still have slack. So that's something you always want to remember whenever you're ratcheting down your load. Make sure you get your slack right for your tension or else it could be too loose or you may not have enough webbing wrapped around the barrel once you do have it tight in there. As you can see, this strap here has a soft loop built into it so that way if you're hauling a motorcycle or something you don't want to scratch up or you don't want to put the hook on it you have a built-in soft loop another thing you're going to want to watch out for whenever it comes to strapping down your load is over a period of time you want to make sure that your straps aren't fraying you know it's going to kind of start out like this 
then it is going to kind of turn into something like this and especially if you're strapping around sharp edges you always want to be careful you know not to strap around sharp edges because one good road trip and it's going to cut through your strap like that and it's going to ruin it so when you start to see it fraying uh it won't be long till it starts looking like this and then if the end of your strap uh, is starting to look like this you can always cut that off and burn it so that way it doesn't keep spreading and unraveling and getting worse well there you go guys i hope that helped you out part two of our ratchet strap tips and tricks if you have any more comments ideas or suggestions whenever it comes to strapping feel free to put them in the comments i'd love to hear from you i'll see you next time guys take care